Hi, I'm Takeo Fuji. I know it's sudden, but there are times when you need to take a proper picture, right? Profile pictures, SNS icon pictures, but you only have time to take selfies on your phone. You don't have time to retake them, and you end up spending a lot of money. In the end, don't you just settle for using your usual picture? So, this is what I'm going to introduce to you today. It's a tool that allows you to create an AI model that looks exactly like you just by uploading 10 to 20 pictures of your face. This is the Photo GPT, an AI app. I'm going to introduce this to you this time. It's my first time using it, so let's check out the functionality together. This Photo GPT that I'm going to introduce today is currently running a special campaign on AppSumo, so you can get it for 69. Since this is a one-time purchase, if you check the normal plan, here it is. Normally, it costs about $17.99 per month. Or if you pay every six months, it's $89.99, which comes to about 180 yen per year. However, if you use this campaign, you can get it for a one-time payment of 69. And after six days, there will be a price raise. So if you think this video is useful, please try to get it soon. I've put a link to this special campaign in the description of this video. So please check it out. So I'm going to actually use this photo GPT now. First, it'll log in. Yes, I'm on the dashboard now. First, let's create my AI model. I haven't made anything yet, but it'll press start here. And here, it'll choose whether it's male or female. My age is 29, so it'll choose the 26 to 30 range. My eyes are black. As for my race, I'm Japanese, so it'll choose Asian. And then my model name. It'll enter my name here. I entered Takeo. Let's move on to the next step. Next, it'll upload my photo. It'll upload a set of 12 photos of the highest quality. It'll upload them now. When you upload a photo, make sure it's a close-up photo with a clear face. And the background should be simple and solid. It shouldn't be a messy background or a full-body picture. I uploaded a set of 12 photos. Now, let's actually create a model. This requires 1,500 credits. This is the plan I purchased. I can get 2,000 credits per month, so I'll use 1,500 credits. The rest will be 500 credits. But next month, I'll receive another 2,000 credits, so I'll use them all this time. I'll upload the photos, and my AI model will be created. It'll take a while. It says here how long it'll take. In my case, it'll take about 33 minutes. Let's wait until the AI model is created. Look, it's ready now. Let's use it. Click Generate. It's displayed here. At this point, it's learning from my image and creating a sample of the AI model. It's clearly too dandy. It's not that good of a guy. I mean, I'm not that handsome. It doesn't have a body like this. I can't use this one. It's not me. But still, I think it can be used here. I think it's pretty similar to me. Aside from being too dandy, I think it's a practical profile photo. It shows my characteristics well, and it looks good. If you look here, and then look to the left, you'll see the Settings tab. You can also choose various presets here. You can also choose various presets here. You can choose according to the image you want to create. Professional theme, glamorous theme, passport photo, graduation, Instagram, cinematic, street style, and so on. Fitness, too. If you don't understand the presets or can't read English, if you translate the page into Japanese, you can see what it says. Samurai, zombie, ninja, and so on. It includes things that are more casual like comedy, as well as practical content. Law expert, creative director, and the professional theme I mentioned earlier, passport photo. I think you can use these things considering their practicality. Let's go with the professional theme this time. If you want to create a versatile image, you can click here. If you click here, you can create a versatile AI model instead of using your own AI model. Let's take a look here. I'll make it with my professional theme. Advanced options. You can choose the size by expanding the settings. You can choose 1x1, one 4x3, one, 16x9, etc. Let's choose this one. You can also create up to 4 images. The steps are set to 30. I'll leave it as it is. You can write a prompt here and create an image. Let's click the pen icon and use the AI to improve the prompt. Let's create an image in this state. You may find it troublesome to write a prompt. In the future, if you create multiple images, you may find it troublesome to write a prompt every time. You can use the prompt generator to create a prompt based on your rough idea. If you click this button, two images will be automatically created according to the options. It's created. I can't find the right one. The left one is me without glasses. It's created like this. 
If you want to download this, you can download the image here. If you want to create a similar image, you can click this button and use the AI image you selected to create an image with this seed and prompt. It's called YouTube Thumbnail. Let's create it. Return the seed to its original state. If you increase the seed, you can create a similar image to own face. It will take longer to generate. Let's make it 80. I haven't tried how well it will work yet. Let's make it in this state. About the thumbnail. I'm going to make this time. There is a video I'm going to post in a few minutes. I'm going to post a video about the recent changes in AppSumo. I'm going to use the AI to create an image for this video. I'm going to write a prompt. I'm going to generate an image with this prompt in this state. I think it will take longer than before, but let's wait. It's generated. Look at this. Actually, there is a mole here on my face. It's reflected perfectly. It doesn't matter too much. I made it like this, so let's use it. Let's download it. I downloaded it. Let's put it in Canva. Upload the file. I uploaded the image I made. Let's install it here. How is it like this? It's better than before, isn't it? Let's download it and set it as my YouTube thumbnail. Let's set the thumbnail. I used it as a thumbnail like this. By using this photo GPT, you can train it with your own face and create an AI model. You can create materials that can be used for various purposes, such as profile photos, SNS icons, and advertising banners. You can also use it for passport photos and YouTube thumbnails. Let's try other things. Let's change the preset here. Let's see. Cinematic looks good. I've been trying only practical methods so far, so let's try other things. How about Samurai? I actually made it with this. It'll make a Samurai-style photo. It was created. Please look at this. This is my Samurai-style AI avatar model. I think it's a little too cool, but it's good. You can use it for various purposes, so you can use it as a joke or share it with your friends. It's quite convenient. There are various other presets, so you can use it for your business, and you can show it to your friends and family. There are also Harry Potter and Star Wars. There are ninja and zombies. That's it. This time, I introduced it as a function. Please look at this. You can create your own unique design, like architecture, interior, anime, game, art, logo, etc. You can create your own design with your own AI avatar. If you have an image you want to create with your own AI avatar, you can do it here. There are a lot of interesting presets that I didn't introduce this time, so please try them out. There are many services like PhotoGPT that I introduced this time. This service is similar to the one I introduced in the past. If you upload several photos of yourself, you can create your own AI avatar or AI model like this. If you think about it, you can use it for a long time just by paying 69. If you use up 2,000 credits this month, you can get 2,000 credits next month. There is a plan for Tier 1, Tier 2, and Tier 3. If you want to create a lot of AI models, please consider Tier 2 and Tier 3. Since I purchased Tier 1 this time, I could only create AI models for one person, that is, AI models for me. If you make models for four people, you'll need Tier 2. If you make models for eight people, you'll need Tier 3. Depending on the tier, the amount of credits you can get per month will change. First of all, please try Tier 1. As for the resolution and size, Tier 1 is limited. I saw it when I was creating it earlier. This is the advanced option. 111-113-169. You can choose these with Tier 1 here, but you can't choose the other resolutions and sizes. It seems that Tier 2 is necessary to choose this. If you need other sizes, please consider Tier 2. I tried it this time, and I made a thumbnail image using this service. I'm using it quite a bit. I think I will use it in the future. I hope it will be helpful. I noticed that I made five images, but the amount of credits I spent is not that much. There are 475 left, so I reduced it from 500 credits to 475. So the amount of credits I spent is not much. Please try it. It's 69, so you can get it for a one-time purchase. It will be raised in six days, so please check it out. I put a link to this special campaign in the description of this video, so please check it out. If you have any questions about PhotoGPT, please feel free to contact me. Thank you for watching.